Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian Wright, CEO of New Patient Group. What you're about to watch is an analysis of a new patient welcome tour inside an orthodontic practice. Now this, whether you're a dental practice, oral surgery, orthodontic practice, etc., this analysis very much will apply to your practice. The difference between the new patient experience that we teach and compared to others is the verbal value that we teach staff members to put on every aspect of your practice. Think of a high-level restaurant and how the waiters are able to talk about and educate the tables about the wine menu, the food, the desserts, etc. Imagine your practice having a staff that can do the same on your behalf for every aspect of your practice. Now, you'll hear this in the video analysis, but it's very important whether it's you talking to a patient about treatment or your staff talking to them about something else or, as it's going to pertain today, the welcome tour. Everything that comes out of your mouth has to put more value in the mind of the consumer than they saw before you started talking. Otherwise, you're wasting your time doing it. And you're going to see via this analysis how it's broken down and given recommendations on how it could be said differently. There are things that are said on whether it be welcome tours or everything else in the practice that people do not think twice about. But because you're dealing with consumers, it is imperative that you speak their language in a way that they are able to see more value on something it is that you do that they do not understand and do not value. So how do you get them to value what it is your practice offers over the competition and why should they choose their disposable income on you as opposed to any other business where they can choose to spend their disposable income? This analysis is going to break that down for you and I hope you enjoy it. Doing a welcome tour is pointless unless there's true verbiage value placed on everything it is that you are showing throughout the office. So let's break each step down here. Let's go ahead and play this. Susie, you're not having much today, office. Come on back. Okay, so, and I'm, I'm going to talk about it. If you haven't listened to the greeting video yet, I want everybody to get the word orthodontic family into their verbiage vocabulary and eliminate the word practice. I want to welcome you to our orthodontic family. That is something I absolutely want everybody using. Eliminate the word practice. Again, why? One, it puts more value on it. Two, you are using verbiage that nobody else is going to use. Everybody says the word practice, which is another reason not to use it. Welcome to our orthodontic family. Thank you for visiting our orthodontic family etc etc so on the greeting orthodontic family something i really want you guys practicing and, and inputting so it's not a brief tour that immediately ends the value proposition of what it is you're doing what it is is a vip welcome tour that we are extremely proud because we want to show off the fabulous technologies and the fabulous employees here are our orthodontic family etc so it's not a brief tour that immediately eliminates the value that you are trying to portray inside the consumer's mindset, okay? And remember, it's not quick, all right? This doesn't need to be 20 minutes, but it does need to be two, three, four minutes, okay? And if you're using the right value verbiage, that's probably going to be upwards of three, four minutes tops, depending on the size of your office. But again, everything you say has to have value behind the meaning. This is our restroom. Thank you. So this is our restroom. That's fine. There's not too many ways to say, <laughs> to say that, right? Um, you know, one of the things that uh, the practices that have this down do at the highest level is just say, you know, we don't want to have to, you know, none of us like to ask where the restroom is. Therefore, I'd like to show it to you. It's right over here. Um, if you turn your head to the right and if you'll continue, we'll follow on down the hallway. Now, I know uh, that it's hard, but right here, as you can see, you are walking ahead of that patient. They are trailing behind you. I know it's a lot easier said than done, so believe me, I'm not saying this without understanding that it's easier said than done, but you need to keep your eyes on the patient and either be side by side or ahead of them, which I would prefer you be ahead, but you're, you need to have your chest to their chest. Imagine a string it's pulling you along and your chest is pulling the consumer, the patient along with you. Eye to eye conversation. I'm gonna follow the hall back. This is our office where doctor does a lot of his treatment planning for our patients. Now ask yourself after everything you say, does the patient see more value in what it is you just talked about? 
And if the answer is not definitively yes, you shouldn't even have talked about it because you're wasting your time and you're also wasting the patient's time. So I really like the fact that you brought up, you know, this is Dr. where he does a lot of treatment planning for our patients. It needs to go beyond that though. It doesn't have to be long, but again, this is Dr. And again, amazing doctor. I can't wait for you to see him. This is where he does a lot of the treatment plans that are customized specific to your individual needs. And another reason why he's so fantastic, he does a lot of that right in this office. Now, if you'll continue with me here, we'll go down the hallway, something to that effect. That now the, the patient, the consumer, now sees perceived value on what it is you're talking about. Again, remember, there's a lot of practices that do a welcome tour. What differentiates the welcome tours that we are teaching from all of those is we are teaching you how to put value on it in the mind of the consumer. Always be asking yourself, does the consumer see value in what it is I'm talking about more before or after I talked about it, okay? If the answer isn't definitively, oh yes, they definitely see more value in it now, don't even talk about it. Wall of Fame, some of our... Okay, good job using the words Wall of Fame. I really like that. So again, ask yourself, does that patient see more value in the cases that the doctor has done? And the answer here is absolutely, unequivocally, no. So you need, you don't have to talk about all of them, but again, remember, this is where the experience, the education, and in the end result, the sales process is truly beginning, okay? It really begins on the type of marketing you do to set yourself apart from everybody, and then it has to how that new patient call goes to separate yourself from everybody, but now they're in-house, right? Everything that comes out of your mouth can make or break the quote-unquote close. So that wall of fame, you have to put value on it. Otherwise, it's not a wall of fame. So for example, obviously I can't tell which one of those pictures is which, so I'm just going to wing this. But when you stop that patient, so Miss Jones, we'd like you to uh, see our wall of fame. It's something we're extremely proud of. Uh, you know, we hand select different cases that, and you know, while there's many up here, I'm going to go ahead and point to this one right here because this is my personal favorite. This is an Invisalign case. Uh, that uh, the doctor did. And as you can tell, I mean, look at the before and look at the after. And it just goes back to what I was telling you before about where he's doing his customized treatment plans in his office when I talked to you there about that, is that he is so amazing at what he does. And I've never worked for a doctor that spends more time to ensure that you get the best results possible. And really these before and after show photos, they really prove it. I mean, it is a customized approach unlike anything I've ever seen, and we are so proud of this wall of fame, and we're excited for you to become a patient here. Bam! Now, they actually see value in the wall of fame. Otherwise, you said it's a wall of fame, and you just kept walking. Patient sees no value in it whatsoever, which means you might as well not even have talked about it. I really like that you use the state of the art word there. That's really good. So again, value, value, value. You started off really good there. Okay, this is the state of art x ray machine. You put some good verbiage on there. What else can you do for them to see true value in what that technology brings to the table? Remember, you get it, the doctor gets it, we get it. But the consumer is clueless. They have no knowledge of what it is you provide at all whatsoever. So you have to use verbiage that commercially places value on that clinical tool because from a clinical perspective, they don't get it and they're not going to get it. So you have to use high-level commercialized verbiage to place value on that x-ray machine. Okay, so pick three things that that x-ray machine does, such as things like, it, uh, your, it produces less radiation than your cell phone. It present, whatever it may be, pick three things and you can quickly go through them, but they've got to put value in the mind of that consumer. If you follow back just a little bit, this is our sterilization area. Okay, again, this is our sterilization area, okay? You might as well not even talk about it because that patient does not see any value in what that is. They don't know what's in there, they don't know your process, etc. So again, it goes back to putting value on what it is. This is our state-of-the-art sterilization room. We find it really important to show this to you. One, because we're just extremely proud of how clean it is. 
but we're also extremely proud of the advanced technologies to ensure any instrument that touches your mouth during any one of your appointments is sterilized with the best equipment in the business. So we just wanted to make sure and show this off to you. Now, you have a state-of-the-art sterilization room that actually means something to the patient because that is a clinical tool in your office that you just spoke high-level commercial verbiage on and now they see value in it. They don't need to know that you have an enclave, whatever it may be, your instrument cleaners, they don't need to know the details behind it. They just need to know something, the effect of what I just said, because now you are putting commercial value on what it is and the commercial piece they can understand. Remember, they are not clinical. Now to date, if you add up everything we're talking about, you've already wowed that patient to the point of no return by the time you're even done with the welcome tour. Let's continue. Now again, you showed off, you said a semi-private room over there. I don't even know what that is. So, and I'm speaking again from a consumer perspective, if you told me that and I was going through your office, to me, that's exactly what it is. It's, it kind of has privacy. Again, ask yourself, if you were going to talk about it, and you said this is our semi-privacy room over here, does the patient, does the consumer see more value in what that room is, what it offers, what it's there for, and if the answer isn't definitively yes, don't talk about it. So in that case, the semi-private room, in this particular tour, you might as well not even have said anything about it because they see no more value now than they did before you even mentioned it. So pick one, two, three things that's really cool about that semi-private room and take your time to say that to the patient. Right now, and you can see in the video, and it is natural when you're on camera to rush things, so believe me, I understand it. However, what we also know doing this for a long time is the fact that, you know, however you're doing it now is how you're doing it in real life. You may not think so, and you may not go as quick, but it's definitely something that you are doing, whether or not you realize it or not, and why we do these video analysis breakdowns. And good. I like that you said that's a beautiful view right there. That's good. It places some value, and you can tell she actually looked and took time to, to look at that view. Okay. 